हेलो पीपल वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2017 सेट वन एग्जाम इट्स फॉर टू मार्क्स एंड द क्वेश्चन रीड्स अ कैश मेमोरी यूनिट विद कैपेसिटी ऑफ एन वर्ड्स एंड ब्लॉक साइज ऑफ बी वर्ड्स इज टू बी डिजाइंड इफ इट इज डिजाइंड एज डायरेक्ट मैप्ड कैश द लेंथ ऑफ टैग फील्ड इज टेन बिट्स If cash unit is now designed as a 16-way set associative cash, the length of tag field is dash bits. Okay, so they are saying if this particular cash unit is designed as direct mapped, the tag field requires 10 bits. What will be the effect of using 16-way set associative mapping? on tag field okay so in direct you very well know physical address is divided into tag line number and block offset in set associative this line number is replaced by set number rest all remains same now you are required to find out what is the relation between line number and set number will this set number take more uh, bits or will it take less bits now 16 way means 16 cache lines are combined to form one set a set comprises of 16 cache lines or cache blocks so if total number of lines are divided by 16 you will get the number of sets because each set contains 16 cache lines that means number of sets is equal to number of lines number of cache lines divided by 16 okay that means total number of sets are 16 times less than the number of lines now this can also be written as divided by 2 raised to the power 4 okay now number of lines will be some power of 2 from this power of 2 we are dividing uh, we are subtracting 4 because this divided by 4 means subtracting 4 from that power of 2 okay which also means this set number field will shrink it will uh, it will actually shrink by 4 bits now you see block offset block offset this will take the same number of bits in both of the configurations set number has shrinked by 4 bits because we are dividing it by 16 number of sets are being reduced by 16 by a multiple of 16 actually physical address will remain same okay because anyways the main memory will have same amount of words so length of physical address will remain same you can clearly see this tag field has to be increased to accommodate this change tag field uh, tag field will be increased by 4 bits earlier it was taking 10 bits now it will take 14 bits so your answer to this question is 14 okay we haven't even used this information anyways now what i am going to do i'll just explain this question in the other way okay there i'll use concept of groups if you haven't heard of this concept please watch my theory lectures available on youtube i link it in description and i insist you just watch it once the concept is beautifully explained there okay so we have already seen this question also we calculated its answer as 14 let's just revisit this question with this concept of groups group is a term that i define you will not find it in any of the standard textbooks and also not many teachers use it anyways it's a wonderful concept to learn our main memory is assumed to be divided into groups in case of direct mapping number of groups in main memory depends upon number of lines in cache okay each group 
will be of same size as our cache okay that way this first element of a group maps to the first line of cache first block first line last block last line parallelly all the groups will overlap with the cache okay now when we say we are using 16 way set associative we are obviously saying 16 16 lines are combined to form sets okay now we have grouped 16 lines to form one set that means number of sets will reduce okay number of sets will be 16 times less than number of lines because one set contains 16 lines what will be its effect on groups in case of set associative mapping k way set associative mapping number of blocks in one group is equal to total number of sets we have already seen that number of sets will be 16 times less than the number of lines earlier a group contained same number of blocks as number of cache lines now it will contain the number of blocks equal to the sets we have seen number of sets will be 16 times less than the number of lines so you can just see that it will also shrink group size will shrink one group will now contain 16 times less number of blocks as it contained earlier okay so you can see number of blocks will get divided by 16 now if one group contains less number of lines obviously the total number of groups will increase okay you also know that tag is used to identify a group earlier we had 10 with tag that means in this case 1024 groups were there in our ram okay now because each group contains 16 times less number of lines that means the number of uh, ram blocks or ram lines are divided by 16 per group total number of groups will obviously then increase by 16 times okay saying that total number of groups will increase by 16 times means we are going to multiply this number by 16 now you take its log you will find out it comes out to be 14 that means 14 bit log 14 bit tag is required in case of set associative mapping okay okay so now let's talk in terms of these numbers and let's just do the math so if there are n words in cache and a block is of b words how many blocks will be there in cache n by b so that's what i've written blocks in cache is n by b and number of sets in cache will be look this is with respect to direct mapping this is with respect to 16 way set associative mapping so number of sets will be number of blocks divided by 16 we have already seen it a multiple times now you see what will be the number of blocks in main memory main memory has a total of 2 raised to the power 10 groups because tag is given of 10 bits in direct mapping there is a 10 bit tag okay that means we have 1024 groups also in direct mapping cache size is equal to group size that means number of blocks in cache sorry blocks in main memory will be cache size which is also equal to a group size into total number of groups so this is 2 power 10 multiplied by n by b okay now you see there are these many blocks in main memory whatever be the type of cache whether it's direct or set associative number of groups is going to remain same sorry number of blocks is going to remain same the number of groups will increase in case of 16 way set associative let's find out how many groups will be there 
because once we know the number of groups finding out uh, number of bits in tag field is a very easy task okay let's find out number of groups in 16 way set associative now you know in k way set associative in one group you have number of blocks equal to total number of sets so sets here are these many okay that means in one group you will be having these many blocks in main memory okay total number of blocks in main memory are these many one group will have these many so what will be the total number of groups here okay uh, let me just draw a line this is for direct this is for k way set associated so number of groups will be this divided by this okay so that comes out to be 2 raised to the power 10 n by b will get cancelled by n by b so we are left with 2 raised to the power 10 divided by 1 upon 16 okay which is also equal to 2 raised to the power 10 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 4 16 is written as 2 to the power 4 now you can see we have these many groups okay that means 4 bits will be required extra in tag field so tag field comes out to be 14 once again okay just see to find out or to address one of these many groups you require 14 bits that's it